Okay, so I saw this video. It's an old video on where I made this butterfly um, crinoline fascinator. And I said, hmm, I think I should show you. Not so clear, but there's so much you will gain from it. First of all, this was how it came. What you see me losing is how the client gave it to me. She wanted it to be transformed. And the first picture you saw is what I transformed it to. Looks like a butterfly. So that's why I say it's a butterfly crinoline fascinator. So here I'm just loosening everything that was made previously now why i actually uploaded it was i feel you would learn from making the, the simplest rose you could ever make made from veil which you can use the same way with other materials then also you would know how to make um like um a loop flower with crinoline then you also get to know how you can you know twist your hat wire and form a different design also you'll be learning how to sew your comb to your fascinator so all this and much more were the reason why i decided i think i need to put this up for you to learn how to do so here are all the pieces that i got from loosening the old um, crinoline fascinator that she had and here is how the transformation became, began. Okay, so the hat wire had some rough edges with the um, bias that was wrapped around it. So I wrapped it again and this is how I twisted the hat wire. Now, of course, this hat wire is more flexible than the one you usually see me using. That's why you can twist it like this to form a different shape. So this is how I twisted it to form the various, the two wings of a butterfly. And now I'm tying it up with my tread to hold it in position. I was done with that the next step I did was to take my veil and then I covered it all up sorry that part wasn't so clear but this is how it came out after I finished now here is another aspect you would gain from and that's how to sew your comb to a fascinator so what you're doing is that you're going to be sewing it in between the teeth keep watching and learning The next thing I did was to fix the, um, that, what would you call that part of the butterfly? Hmm, that sticks out. Anyway, this one had only just one. No, the two parts on the other side and one on the other part. That's like the tail and the antennas, right? So that's what I'm doing. I'm sewing it to the middle point like so. Keep watching and learning. Now here is where I made the um, the crinoline loop flower that I told you about. Now these loops are small. They could be like, I think they're like five inches. So you fold them from two and a half or less. So according to the size you want. So I'm just sewing them individually like so. Then the next thing I'm going to do is to join them together. So keep watching and learning.
learn the simplest rolls you can ever make so whatever material you have this is lace all you need to do is roll it it can be straight you know but this wasn't um you know it was the pieces i got from what was made so you just roll it like so and then you start carving it to form like um a spiral and as you're carving you take your needle and your thread and you start sewing it together so you're going to be doing it you carve you sew you carve you sew keep watching and learning do that all the way around till I reach the end I didn't show that part but that's what you do and I used that and then I attached it in the middle of um, the um, the loop rose crinoline that I made to form like a different design on it Then the last thing I did was to take strip of the feathers and just put them all around the crinoline fascinator. Keep watching and learning. And that's how I made this lovely butterfly crinoline fascinator. What do you think? Do let me know if it was worth it posting this old video. And if you enjoyed it and you feel it was worth it, please do give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, I believe I've convinced you today that you get value from the vent craft. So please click the subscribe button and then the bell so you get notified when I upload new videos. And then also check out this next Crinoline Fascinator DIY video.